is our video number two for this uh, new 28-ton York Johnson Controls chiller. As we're getting closer to the 25 F set point, and again because of the uh, because of the differential of 2.5 degrees plus or minus, it's going to go a little bit past the. Uh, past that. And it's based off the leaving water, the leaving glycol temperature. So theoretically it should go down to about 22.5 before it shuts, uh, shuts off. Right now it still has both compressors running because it was seeing a good heat load as far as as far as the uh, controller was concerned but in some cases if, if the load is low it's only going to run the one compressor of course to start. And it's hot gassing too at this point. And now just shut off both compressors. And of course the pump. The pump always stays running on a glycol chiller application like this. Uh, before I forget, with every uh, YCAL chiller, and the YCALs we currently stock in 22, 28, and 33 ton. Then we move up to the YLAA models, which go uh, from about 41 ton up to 230. Um, but uh, there'll be a box uh, with uh, your, your uh, neoprene pads, and there's instructions in the manual where to put those for. And then in, inside that box is another box, and that's what the uh, paddle mounted loose flow switch um, arrives in. So right now we still just got one fan, just got a little bit of residual on the, on the VFD. Uh, but that's just a brief video for our, um, our customers for the startup. This is Scott from KIG and our website is KIGsales.com.